walked down memory lane uh, today, actually, as I'm sitting here um, collecting the Zoom plans for the the last two week weeks and finishing them out before I leave tomorrow for the Boise trip. Boise House Calls is still on. I am headed out tomorrow, um, stopping through Vegas, stopping through Twin Falls, hanging out with family in Boise and Meridian area. Got some appointments around there and then heading back around last couple days of July, beginning of August. So if there's anyone, not the point of this video, but mentioning it, if there's anybody who's interested in a house call, seriously desiring to change your life and you would like me to help and guide, reach out to me and email me for details on that. But um, walking down memory lane and I vividly remember the moment, forgive me, I have uh, coconut oil in my hair so I look like a, a T-bird a version of a T-bird. Um, vividly remember the moment where it was Vladi and I and we're training groups and we have groups of athletes and they would roll through from the 3.30 to 4.30 to 5.30 to 6.30, 7.30 and they just roll in. Sometimes V would be managing 20 to 30 people at one time. And the style of training and the approaches and the traits that we were accessing using really body weight, minimal load, but maximum major force and different patterns and stuff like that and electricity and stuff. Um, the results were crazy and it was at least intriguing to discover what else you could do going into that. Like, what were we tapping into? Not stay with this is the system. This is the way because that doesn't make sense. But. It was utilizing principles and concepts that are repeatably effective um, and sustainable. Not how it was being delivered, obviously. That's why I branched out, moved on. Um, but uh, there was some truth in there. And so one of the big epiphanies I had was as I'm walking through either training people or I was doing baseball lessons at the time as well as training and then as well as doing one-on-ones and then as well as doing rehab. Um I started to ask, it didn't matter the athlete, it didn't matter the person, it didn't matter the human, why are you doing that lunge pattern? I'm like, do you know why you're doing that? And it was just this blank stare. And I had this huge epiphany. I'm like, holy shit, do you know why you're doing that aggressive move or explosive move? Do you know your why and why you're doing 3,000 of those? Do you know why? And nobody had any idea why. Nobody. Except maybe the applicant, like, us and we pitch it to them when they first came in why should we come into this facility why should we work with you guys and we said all these things that were going to happen but then nothing ever perpetuated and continued and i remember the day it literally the day it turned and frustrated me so much that i'm like how the fuck do you know if you don't have any reason as to why you're doing it what the f and it bothered me to no end and I started walking around and giving detailed explanations or letting them, nudging them into, okay, think about this. Now, this is the pattern, da, 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 da. And then you're going to try to hold in your head and an image, and maybe this is what you're doing. And there was none of that because you can't get that one in a group format. And that was starting to realize when I was realizing what we were doing didn't make sense. Uh, the facility, like a facility location or a group format of any kind. Um, it just didn't make sense anymore. Programs, they don't make sense. Um, and they, they're not true in any capacity as to how a human trains. And so I, it really, I remember vividly the day that it hit me. And the whole point I wanna share with you is um, that even, I mean, even if these group formats, these facilities harp on it, every single day or have you do some sort of a detailed journaling document as to why are you in here what are your intentions and what's the point and where's your mindset and what's your all this buzzword trending shit that group format and that facility laden and program laden approach to training still will retard um and uh handcuff in other factors that go well beyond just intention of the person so can't troubleshoot it with just maxim maximizing attention. Otherwise, I'd have a facility. I'd open it up and I'd be running groups if there was any truth in it. Um, there's not. And they will realize that and you'll move forward or your body will realize that. But what I'm saying for you today is to get understanding today, probably more than ever, we don't have any idea who self is. We don't have any idea what we like. We don't have any idea what we don't like. We don't have any idea what our tastes are. We don't have any idea what we feel. 
We don't have any idea uh, what our personality is. We don't have, we are so afraid of ourselves. We're so in that our self is wrong. We're so in that it's not even mentorship. Mentorship now has taken on a copy that person and mimic them to the exact T, whether it's to a business or in their health or in their medicine or whatever. It used to be you looked up to a person, something stimulated you, you connected with them in some way, you were inspired, you watched them, you listened to them, and then you were intrigued to go do on your own whatever it is that they exude. And then maybe as a guide, you nudge back and talk and exchange with them. But it wasn't this like, tell me what to do next kind of a thing. But now we've become so afraid. We don't have style. We don't have creativity. We Everything's wrong. Everything is um, uh, group. And there's no sense of self. That self has been dissolved. So then it becomes even in um, you know, an essential as intimate and as important and primal and primary and potent and necessary and non-negotiable as training. We don't know why we do stuff. It's because so-and-so does it in their morning routine or so-and-so said it on a podcast or so-and-so wrote it, you know, in a book or so-and-so gave me the program. But do you know why you're doing it? I really don't. And that's going to vary second to second, minute to minute, day to day. It's going to vary why you do the things you do and a commitment to yourself. And that is literally one of the biggest bottlenecks to why you maybe don't it doesn't you, you, what your body does doesn't make sense is because you're doing it for somebody else and that's again one of the biggest holes in healing is we do things to heal for somebody else so we do things to do something for somebody else and it can never happen that way it has to be your own creative spin on things that's why we are all artists in our healing meaning our symptoms show up and our symptoms show up in injury and and other systems perfectly as the artistry that we are because we created them it's not random and it's not d unlucky and it's not genetics and it's not you know something's wrong with you something's very right with you and then to go ahead and put your body in a position so that it doesn't have to use the symptoms anymore to get your attention to paint now you're painting in another way creating in another way but we lose that creativity when we lose self one of the most pure one of the purest expressions of self is when we're being creative. There's there's nobody that's ever done anything like you when you're being creative. And it's the same thing I've said. You can have 10 rolled ankles and not any of them are the same, even though we have. And this is one of the biggest flaws with protocols and algorithms. Why all forms of medicine doesn't work and tests. You're putting people into a measurement system but that was for this person on that day and not this person on this day and that's why science that limits you in medicine and healing doesn't make any sense because until they study you it will not apply we can science up but we don't choose to do that we try to science down to put everybody into this dysfunction dysfunctional categories and patholo pathological categories and it just it harms and takes away the individuality and the self the person so again just like on that day i i, I could not I could not turn back. I don't know what happened around those times. I don't know what was going on, but I remember I was looking around and this particular aspect of what we were doing as a profession and what was going on as a society and then what was going on in the world of preparing humans to perform in life, whether it was for sports or heal from ALS and MS and all this other shit, healing responses that they put labels on and scare people with, it was... Why are you doing that? Do you know why you're doing that? And I would just flat out ask. And everyone's just like, I, I, da, 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 and they didn't know. And I was like, oh my God, this is going to be a massive problem. And that's when it really started to stink for me. Um, started to just get really gross that it was just done this way. I'm like, oh, this doesn't make any sense. And it was shortly after that I went another angle and then discovered even more of what doesn't make sense with a degree and a doctorate in chiropractic and then brought it back and tried to make sense of it for years and tried to make sense and it just doesn't make any sense as in regards to how the human heals at all and then it's actually getting in the way of everything the way it's pitched the way it's set up the licensure the degree the verbiage the treatments the therapies the whole setup the whole philosophy of it doesn't make sense and so Learn that, move on. And I kept going and kept evolving, kept evolving. But that was one of the biggest ones was 
why you do the things you do. Why do you eat the way you eat? Why is your bed set up the way it's set up? Why do you have clothes the way you do? Why do you hang them up in your house the way you do? Why do you hold the guitar that way? Why do you walk that way? Why do you choose shoes that way? Why do you tie your shoes that way, right? Is it yours? And again, this you can talk to people who either do podcasts or listen to a lot of podcasts. When you start talking to them, they can't quote themselves. They never fucking quote themselves. They will always go, it's like this, this, this person that says that, no, I, I don't really give a fuck. Who are you? And that person is going to have to discover who they are upon healing because the body is healing in response to you. It's not healing in response to the information you know from somebody else. It's coming from you. And so you're going to have to write your own books. You're going to have to do your own podcast. You're going to have to do your own programming and your own self-solving that's why training has to be set up the way it does that's why nourishment not just food and drink has to be set up the way it does that's why all these things have to come with this um kind of prince the framework of principles and laws but then the the it limitless unlimited capacity of how are you going to make that now how are you going to create that based on you because you in after seeing this video, you're a totally different version of yourself and you're going to have to meet yourself new again. And so anything being applied today doesn't apply tomorrow and you keep going that way. So, um, vividly remember the day it hit me like a ton of bricks. Why are you doing what you're doing? If it's because so-and-so told me to, or because so-and-so does, or because of something outside yourself, because that's how I want to do it. Okay. And then let's go a step further because I love starting with and pushing the ultimate potential, not stating a limitation that, well, you're not going to heal because you're really not going to do the work to get there. Then that that's, there's other pages for that. And there's other professionals and there's other podcasts for that. I won't suggest them, but um, they're there. So now I'll take it a step further. And again, I do the things I do because I do them. Okay, great. What's your body think about it? Does it make sense? And is it working? Because those things have to match up. Because since their body is never flawed, it's never pathological, it's never wrong, and it never attacks you in an autoimmune fashion, it never goes against you. Um, and because of that, it's just telling you what it thinks about the choices that you're making based on your intentions and you. And again, does it make sense as to why you're doing it? And is it working? Because what works all the time, what works, works all the time. And if it doesn't work, then that means it never worked in the first place. And I have a post on that coming because that hit me like a ton of bricks on a walk yesterday. So um, make the intentions behind something yours, yours and unexplainable. I say this in Zooms all the time as I'm walking people through trying to show them how to design their own programs, um, design their own programs based on every element and every trait and every variable you would ever, ever uh, consider in a training plan at any level of ability. And I say, if I show up and I ask you, why are you doing that like that right now? Your first response is, fuck you. I don't have to tell you anything because this is mine. Done. I love it. <laughs> but then I'm pursuing because I've got this thing I'm writing called life experience in my head. And I love information. And as soon as the person's like, well, because yesterday I blah, blah, blah. Or because I'm, as soon as they go, well, and they look off and they start calculating, man, I'm gone. Because that's it. The reason is theirs, theirs, they own it, self, figuring out why you are doing something because your body is going to respond only in your way for you so that you understand this. Nobody else feels your symptoms, senses your symptoms, pictures your symptoms, predicts your symptoms, or can feel what it's like to have a child as you, to work as you, to walk as you, to consume as you, to read as you, to dream as you, to sleep as you. Nobody knows what that's like. Only you. There is a reason for that. You have to feel why you are doing the things you do because your body's responding to you and it's got to make sense to you and it's got to work every fucking time.